I'll still be winning I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me Hey guys, welcome back to the channel you know who it is. It's Miss Angel Baby. I'm back with another video. Right now, y'all, we are going to be talking about CJ So Cool. For those of you who haven't heard, I'm pretty sure a lot of people heard. Um, CJ did post on his story today that he did get shot four times in a home invasion. Um, he is okay. Thank God. And he is recovering in a hospital. Um, we're going to be talking about it. And basically, there's been somewhat of an update. His brother Kenneth came out and he spoke. And y'all, what he said is crazy. We're going to talk all about it. But before we get started, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, join the family. Make sure you hit that notification bell. So anytime I drop a video just like this one, y'all going to be notified, period. Okay, guys, so before we get started, I'm just going to go ahead and do the disclaimer. Anything in this video is basically has to be alleged. Anything other than that is strictly my thought, opinion, and or perception. Now, I did see an article, y'all. You know, besides what CJ had posted, there was an article that um, came out and it basically said that there was two men who broke into CJ's house and there was an exchange of gunfire. And he was hit four times, CJ was, and he was transported to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries, which is, thank God, you know what I'm saying? This person was either, to me, it seems like trying to send a message, or they're just a really bad shot. So, you know, obviously, when you hear something like that, it's like, oh my goodness, like, who was all there, you know what I'm saying? Were the kids there, you know what I'm saying? Is, is everybody safe? It's just really, really scary. It's a scary situation. Now, I did see that Nike posted on her Instagram, and she basically was just like, prayers to my baby daddy. You know, it wasn't his time. And, woof, no, it was not his time. Um, Haven't seen anything from royalty. His girlfriend, Lexi, posted basically, you know, saying that her boo is okay. You know what I mean? And she just basically said that, Home evasions are no joke. Yeah, no joke at all. And then we get to Kenneth, CJ's brother. Now, Kenneth is, for y'all who don't know, he does, he has Positive Minds Only channel. And CJ, basically, you know, he said it publicly, he does not mess with Kenneth. You know what I'm saying? So it's really not a relationship like that. But anyways, Kenneth came out and he gave his point of view or his opinion on what he feels like is going on. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of go over what Kenneth said. Remember, guys, all this has to be a legend because it is some crazy stuff. So basically, first thing Kenneth was saying was that nobody knows. Nobody really knows where CJ lives. Well, Kenneth wouldn't really know that 100% because he doesn't really deal with CJ like that. Or CJ doesn't really deal with Kenneth like that. So Kenneth really doesn't know who CJ knows or what people know. Kenneth also believes that this was targeted. Me, in my opinion, obviously, too, yes. Anybody, you don't even have to be a cop or a detective to just be like, oh, yeah, definitely, this was targeted. Kenneth says that nobody took anything, y'all. He says nobody took anything. But his brother got shot four times. He also mentioned the fact that he believes, now this is his opinion, he believes that there's this rapper guy that could possibly have something to do with this that has ties with his ex. Now, we're not going to say any names. We all know who his ex is. There was some kind of questionable post that, you know, CJ's ex-girlfriend's new boyfriend put up. 
and it was just bad timing and but the post ended up being removed another thing kenneth basically is just like you know if his brother has insurance you know, he said that basically his ex is the beneficiary of that insurance. And he doesn't trust her. And I'm like, damn. Like, I knew that Kenneth really didn't like his brother's ex. But these accusations are very heavy. Like, I'm like, okay. So, another thing that Kenneth said. But this one thing that Kenneth did say that really made sense. You know, if someone was coming to rob you. Why would they come when you're home? You know what I'm saying? If it's a robbery, then they'll come like when nobody's there. In my opinion, y'all, and this is just my opinion, I do feel like it was a hit. But it's just really crazy, too, because then you got to start to think, like, who does CJ have around him? Who's been coming around you that's new? Who are you really dealing with? You know what I'm saying? CJ's known for like flashing, being very flashy with his money, his jewelry. In the past, you know what I'm saying? CJ's address was even on Google. He used to have fans actually deliver food to his home. And he was very vocal and open about how, you know what I'm saying? People knew where he was. And every time, like, it's really crazy because... Every time you see that and you think like, oh my goodness, you know, there's some shady characters in this world. Like you never know. And this was one thing that CJ did say when he moved, that this was going to be one thing that he was going to change was the fact that he wasn't going to let everybody know where he was. And it's just unfortunate that this happened. Another thing that Kenneth did say was that basically he knows how his brother is. And he said that CJ's car more than likely probably was in the garage. So you had to have known like specifically where you were going. He also said that he's in a gated community, y'all, with security. It's just something that's just off. Not just that. So I'm thinking, okay, so then they have to have cameras. Let me tell y'all, the police. They are definitely on it. And I have a feeling that this case will be getting solved pretty soon. I was all, you know, maybe going for a little bit here and there. Not believing everything I hear from Kenneth, you know what I mean? But like some things I'm like, okay, it made sense. Until he pulled out some tarot cards, y'all. Really, nigga? Kenneth pulled out some tarot cards. Now, he didn't get them from a pile. I just seen him, like, pick them up. One of them was, like, a woman sitting on, like, a throne with, like, a black cat. Another one was, like, of a heart with a sword in it. And he said that was, like, betrayal. And then the third card had a man on it with bandages and his brother said that's cj and i'm like oh my goodness he said i'm not saying nothing but you put two and two together you know what i'm saying and it's really crazy y'all because just a couple of days ago a few days ago kamari just left and went back home it's like the way things work, it's like, thank God that Kamari was not there. Thank God. Yeah, another thing too is like, I'm wondering if his girlfriend Lexi was there during this home invasion. Or was it just CJ there by himself? Either way, that is pretty damn scary, y'all. Now, I've heard some people say some stuff like, where was D-Lo? Where was D-Lo? Yeah, D-Lo is CJ's assistant and his security, but... He has a home. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking like at 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm pretty sure he's not working if CJ's supposed to be in the bed asleep. So CJ's definitely, definitely going to have to move extra, extra different, be extra, extra careful 
He's probably going to have to have security outside of his home. Um, he's going to have to move. You know what I'm saying? And when he goes out, he may need bodyguards. Now, I'm pretty sure that he's going to probably need help. You know what I'm saying? Because this is very traumatic. You know what I'm saying? He's probably going to need some kind of therapy. I just send prayers. Send prayers to CJ. Send prayers to his kids. Because you know what I'm saying? Especially Kamari. You know what I'm saying? Because she's old enough to really understand what's going on. So I'm pretty sure this is going to affect her in a very sad way. And prayers for Nike too. You know what I'm saying? Because her and CJ, they're pretty close. You know what I mean? Just, I just pray for everybody in this situation because this is not good but the the main thing is is that cj is alive and he is here and he can he's gonna be telling his story y'all know how cj is he gonna give us a whole rundown on what happened so we're just gonna have to wait and see what he's got to say and whoever did this i feel like they ain't too smart they ain't too smart and they didn't plan this too well so we just gonna have to see and y'all already know i'm gonna keep you guys updated i want to know y'all thought and opinion on the whole situation what do y'all think you know what i'm saying again like i said this is all alleged i'm gonna go ahead and end the video thank y'all for watching until next time peace out Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them